Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn. And Jinx here. And welcome to Firefighting Simulator, the squad on the PlayStation 5. So last month we played a police simulator game, and this month we're going to be playing a firefighting simulator. So this is from the same publisher as that police simulator patrol officers game. However, it's a different developer. Now, before we get started, I want to show you guys that we did have to change up the audio settings quite a bit because frankly, the fire is incredibly loud in this game, and I guess it should be, but it does make it very difficult to hear the dialogue. So we turned that up. We turned the music down as well. That's typical in, in most games. You, you often have to turn the music down, uh, but we also turned down the, the effects, which would control the fire sound and the menu sounds. That's the, the music here in the menus. So I did want to show you guys that we had to make that adjustment. You might want to do so as well, just because that fire is incredibly loud. And the sirens, man. The sirens are loud as well, yep. So we will be playing some co-op. So Jinx is on her PlayStation 5, and she's going to be joining us. I'm a professional firefighter, so... She's got it in her blood, guys. Here to save the day. <laughs> or I guess it's not in your blood, but your, your stepdad. Yeah. <laughs> your stepdad was a firefighter. We'll talk more about that throughout the series. So... We did do the first introduction mission, which that was somewhere on this map here. You can still see it. There's unfortunately, here it is right here, Baptism of Fire. So that's the introduction mission. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any way to zoom in or zoom out. So you're stuck with this view. Would be nice if we could zoom out a little bit, get a better view of the entirety of the map. But yeah, that is the intro mission. We've already done that. We also did the, the training missions. There's a bunch of training missions that teach you how to play the game. Those are optional. And we went ahead and ran through all those. And then we did our first mission. So after that baptism of fire and our training, we were at level three. And we did one mission, which I think was this one right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, the home crafting. And this was a, an electrical fire. So we had to turn off the electricity. We had a, one person we had to save in there. And they get the, the fire put out. And so we're now at level five, guys. And I don't know what the, the levels do yet, because we haven't played that much. So we'll just have to see as we play the game. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and pick ourselves a mission. So we have a wildfire park. I think we should probably do a building. Yeah, let's do a structure fire. Mm -hmm. There's the, the training facility. This is all the industrial area down here. So we're probably going to see like much different fires, maybe chem chemical fires. Uh, we also have burning news building. Oh, you so we could don't do, that, do one. that one because there's probably film there and it's extremely flammable. Well, here's another house fire, batting down the hatches in Lakeview Park. So I think that's a good first one for us to show you guys. So let's go ahead and begin. Now we can find a public session by pressing triangle. I don't think there's any options for that, guys. Simply because. We're playing this pre-release, so this game will release on Tuesday, so it won't be out yet when this video releases. And so really, the, the only people that will be able to play it is fellow YouTubers and Just influencers, me. media. And so nobody really on yet, so we can't really take a look at like you know how many people are playing, uh, how populated the servers are. Uh, so we're just going to hop in to the friends only online. But yeah, these are your options. You can host a new session so that anybody can join. You can do single player. You do have an AI squad and that will fill out for any uh, of your team that doesn't have a, a person playing them. We're gonna do friends only and then we're gonna invite Jinx on into, into our game. And I believe she'll take the place of Jack. So we'll invite Jinx in. And then we'll have Tom and Bill under AI control. Bill's a real jokester. I believe Bill is my guy. And your guy no, is Tom. I got Bill. You got Tom. Well, because you <laughs> picked the pink guy. And I think Tom rolls with the pink color. Or kind of pink color. I don't know what color that, that exactly is. You got to see what we, mean, what we mean when we get into the into the scene. So you can deploy straight onto the scene. Uh, we go right onto the house fire, or you can just do the regular deploy and you'll deploy at the fire station and then have to drive to the scene. And that's what we're going to be doing here so you guys can see it. But I can definitely see after you've been playing a little while, 
that this would be the preferred method. Now, I believe you get like extra points though, if you can get there quick enough in the fire truck. And it's kind of fun driving there in the fire truck. It feels more realistic. Except for how far it is from the station. Well, it depends on, on where you're, you're doing it. I bet they're all terribly, terribly far. And we do have the two fire trucks going. Two members on each truck. Dispatch to unit one. We've got a so if you had four people, then you would have a two in one truck and two in the other. I'm trying to turn the TV volume down here, guys. Hopefully I don't crash while I'm doing it. It's going to kill more people than we save. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever you hit anything, uh, a car or part of the environment, it'll notify that, that you had an accident. I'm not entirely sure there's any penalties or anything to consider when it comes to that. I didn't notice anything. The cars do fly off into space. They do. So. <laughs> not that we would know because we didn't crash into anybody, of course. No. See on the side there, which of course I did that on purpose so you guys could see. I crashed into our... Traffic accident. Yeah, I crashed into our partner here. And we got the traffic accident. I'm trying to get in front of him because I believe if you go with his speed, you'll never get the bonus. Because he's slow. Yeah, he's too slow. You need to go faster. God, Bill. <laughs> if you want to get the, uh, the bonus. Is Bill the one driving, Jinx? I don't know. <laughs> I would think so. We do have a horn as well. I'm hoping I can get over here without crashing into him. Get out of the way. Or crashing into something else. <laughs> well, we crashed into him. So that slowed us both down. But again, this is the only way that we're going to ever get there. And get the bonus. Because he just goes too slow. He's driving safe. Safety first, guys. Of course, with me in the front barreling down the road at full speed we're far more likely to hit some stuff you can see the smoke over there in the distance gonna run over pedestrians yeah again i haven't seen any penalties for it they're just like hey don't do that yeah just kind of discourage you from doing it so Wait, it's well, not that's like not enough of a penalty for yeah. me to care. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the police simulator game where every time we crashed into somebody we had to stop and do an accident report and all that kind of stuff that you're not taking my money or my experience. I'll kill as many people as I have to to get there in time. So I can save lives, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so far the only thing we hit was our, our own fire truck, our buddy. That's paid for. Yeah, the city will pay for that. It's fine. Taxpayer dollars at work. Mm -hmm. All right, so is it this turn? No, it's next turn. These assholes need to pull over. Yeah, I noticed nobody seems to respect the siren, the emergency vehicles, at all. This like, even when people... Nice. This is really nice. Look at that lion statue over there. Other members of his family but even if they, they like, see you there, they'll slow down slightly. Copy that. But they kind of creep along, like, I'm not going to completely <laughs> stop. <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of a distance. From our fire station. Yeah, that's so damn far. Yeah, we seem like we have to go pretty far. I'm not sure what we have to hit. Last time, I think it was four minutes. Or maybe it was 3.30. 3.30 or four minutes. It. I don't know. We're not that far away at this point. I think it's farther than it looks. It always is. <laughs> and we're going really fast. Going 63 here. Are In a residential. Dispatch mm -hmm. to unit one. Copy that. Acknowledged unit one en route. I mean, it's right there, but yeah, we're Dispatch to all units. right on the limit if it is four Seeing minutes. Oh, Continue and I blew past it. Damn. Unit one is on the scene. Come on. So we have to park in that location right there. I think we're going to make it if it is four minutes. Woo. All right, excellent. So we got there. I don't know if we got there in the window, but I didn't see the... Normally a little thing pops up to let you know, like, oh, you missed the uh, the bonus window. So I think we got there in time, guys. It's I think nice it might be four house. minutes. See if we can Supply save it. Go, I'm not boss. seeing the fire. Yeah, I don't either. Where'd it go? Last time when we rolled up, it was a big ol' fire. Now, we can't skip this part, so I guess might as well. Well, it's too late now. So you can see our teammates have already started working. They've already set up... Uh, or maybe Jinx got, got him set up there. Nope. 
Not me. So Jinx's is the pink dude. Now you can technically give them both orders, but we're splitting this off, and we should really be working here, guys. Okay, so I've, I've located the fire. It's downstairs. And we're going to have to breach. So I'm going to get myself an axe, guys. And there are people inside. Mm-hmm, they had to rescue. And you can give orders. Oh, the axe is over here. To your people. So we could be giving them orders to open up the door, uh, to put the fire out, to rescue anybody who's out there. And we'll, I'll show you guys that here in a minute. And the fire is right on the other side of this door here. They've got mail. <laughs> <laughs> Can be a little tricky to hit the spots. As you can see, he's just kind of swinging wildly. And we also took some damage there because we are in the fire. It looks like I've got the green guy. This so this time. was not the best location. Oh, it's based on which one you give orders to, Jinx. All right, so the green guy's over there. So I'm actually going to tell him, and we do that with the directional pad. So I'm actually going to tell him to put this fire out. Although, it looks like he can't do that because it's locked. So you can't give him the order. You've got to take out the top yeah, of the door. I couldn't do that because I kept getting burned. Yes, Burning your biscuit. Alright, so I've given him the order to put that fire out. So he's going to get the hose here. Now we can always um, swap with any of these AI characters and we can help out. But what we're going to do is try and clear out the smoke by breaching the windows here. That helps. This place is hot. And we're just destroying these people's stuff as well, which is yes, always sir. fun. You gotta destroy it to save it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna help, uh, I'm gonna take his hose, your guy's hose. This is a raging fire. Yeah, this is serious. It's bad. All right, so we're up into the building, guys. And so what you need to do is you'll see these little circles here. And you need to aim at those, so aim at the base of the fire. And then they'll slowly deplete. The fire can spread. And it does rapidly. Yeah, very rapidly. I don't know how much the building falls apart. Because we haven't played enough to see. Yeah, I'm not really sure. They are talking about some serious mechanics. Yeah, yeah, they are telling us that it, it does have some, like... Some type of mechanics that simulates destruction. But I don't know how in-depth it is. Like, if I walk up these steps, can they break? I don't know. Oh, sometimes these fires take forever. Mm hmm Yeah. All right, I think we've got one section down. Now, one thing we should do is kind of patrol around the building looking for... The people? Any people that might be in here. I don't know if they said, because normally they're saying it when we drive up. You'll notice that they were talking to us and telling us about the situation, but we were talking, so we don't know anything about the situation. Well, they just said that they're unaccounted for. So there are people here, then. Yeah. So we are looking for some folks. So one way you can do that, and it's kind of cool because they do respond to it, your characters do, you can walk around the house and look through all the windows to see if you can find, you know, any victims, and then your people will respond. Oh, come on. He's not even, he's just like standing there. Who? Man, I found a survivor. Oh, there's one of the survivors. Okay, right, so we found another one. So what I'm going to do, oh, we got a lot of people here. So we're going to give a command Yes, command. for, uh, what is his name? Command. Bill, Ted, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give him the order to pick this guy up. Well, let's drop our hose because we're going to pick up this other survivor. Command. Priorities, guys. And we're going to carry this person out of here. Come on, survivor. So they're unconscious. Probably unconscious probably from the smoke. Mine's awake. He was just standing there. Waving his arms around. Like, ah. Oh. Now you can uh, press triangle to squat down. I can't see a damn thing. So I might want to do that. And that'll allow you to have better vision. Can't sprint with the guy on your back. We're just not strong enough. And we're doing that fireman's carry as well, because of course we're firemen. I remember doing this a lot in the army. We got the victims. I believe I carried Jinx like this once. Probably. Mm-hmm. 
people like carrying me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people like to carry the ladies because they're lighter. Yeah, like I'm going to partner with the ladies, <laughs> but then it's my turn to carry the dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, that's your partner. Uh, I think that's it. I think we put the fire out and we uh, rescued the, the victims. Damn, we're good. I don't know what our time was, but it uh, seems like we did pretty good. Seems like record time. So once you finish it, you'll get... Yeah, we did hit the bonus just barely. So we got the fast bonus by a second, I think. Wow. Uh, mission time was also really fast. I don't know what that needs to be at. I'm guessing six minutes because we didn't get it on the last mission and we were at like 620. And then uh, we got a challenge bonus apparently as well. And explosive hot dogs. Explosive hot dogs. I don't know what the unlocks are, guys. <laughs> and not entirely sure what those are. But yeah, you can see how much water we used, distance walked. We ventilated one room, rescued three victims, and broke three windows. I think I broke all those. Yep. <laughs> Walked around smashing windows. Any. All right, so it's Tom and Bill. Tom and Bill, i got to remember that. Bill is our guy. All right, so we did complete it, and you can see that because we played it, it is grayed out now. Now, you can do it again if you want to, which is nice, because you can keep getting the experience, maybe do it again to do better. But uh, oh. this is the explosive hot dogs, James. Oh, God, we've got to save them. So that's what the unlocks are. and unlocks new missions. I see. So the explosive hot dogs is the mission. So we could do that, I guess. Yes. What's this one? That's the wildfire one. In the park. How about this one here? Here's a, an unstable rooftop. That could be interesting, because I want to see if these uh, buildings break apart at all. Yeah, if it caves in on us. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, there's a lot of uh, mechanics that are represented, like uh, backdrafts. Yeah, we're going to do this one, Jinx. Great movie. <laughs> I remember that movie. a million, <laughs> bajillion times. Well, coming from a firefighter family, I expect yeah. that you would. <laughs> do we have to do this again? Or I would think you would just be in it, right? Oh, yeah, you're just in it. I'm okay. here. So again, we got Tom and Bill with us. Should we deploy on the scene or should we do one more drive? We can do one more drive. We'll do one more drive, but after that we'll probably be deploying on the scene, guys. I think you do give up that that bonus, the experience True. bonus, though. Yeah. But I think that's fine. And I'm sure you guys don't want to watch us <laughs> driving <laughs> to the fire. Maybe you do. I mean, yeah, some people do. Like, when we do these simulator games... Like, the fact that I'm not playing in first person, which I don't think this game has first person. I might be wrong on that. I looked at the camera views, and I don't, I don't recall seeing it a first person. in the vehicle. Oh, no. Oh. Well, it has a first person for the vehicle. Okay. I meant in third, in, uh, when, you're, when your character's out. Oh. I don't think I saw one for the... For, you know, the on-foot view. I'll try it out when I get out, guys. Oh, we should probably turn the sirens on. Oh, we're in the front as well. That's good. We don't have to try and get in front of the, the other truck. Maybe this one isn't as far. It looks closer. There's nothing that really indicates just how far. Maybe they said, though, when we were talking to them. No. They didn't say. They just said we're on the way. One. Ladder truck is on scene and has assumed safety. Well, it seems like somebody's already gotten there. Ladder truck is oh, okay. dropping off ladders. Okay. Got it. Yeah, we're much closer this time. So if it is just a four minute just default, then it'd be really easy to get there if you're in one of these close ones. So you should probably base it off of where it's at. Okay, we actually have to turn. I don't think we're going to stop right here. Alright, so let's get parked and get out there and get this fire out. So we're going to go ahead and skip this here. Hello, I guess we'll do a little, little sweep garden. through. We gotta save this house. So we have the bucket this time, but somebody's already up there. So I don't know how that works. It just said we have to handle the situation Come inside. In. We've got a grease okay, fire. so they're already oh, no. taking care of the fire over there, and we've got a grease fire. I'm on it. Come in. I found a All right, so I'm gonna breach the door. I actually started out with a tool here. All right, so we're in. Go, okay, oh, yep, the roof is collapsing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen something like that, guys. So I'm actually going to give my guy the command to put this Hold fire on, out. I'll be with you in a Maybe. On, I'll be with you in a Where's the grease? Yeah, this is pretty bad over here, guys. Okay, so he's we're not using the, uh, the hose because it's a grease fire. So you can see Jinx with the fire extinguisher. 
He's using the hose outside. Oh yeah, he is. Well, he's putting the the roof fire out. Oh, That's why. Okay. Yeah, all the windows are, like are locked. All right, so I'll go ahead and breach them then. Oh, be careful. There's a potential for a backdraft. All right, I'm inside one of the the bedrooms. All right, so the fire's in that main room there. Looks like Jinx the came in through the back door. The ceiling's coming down. Oh, wow, that's bad. So I think that's where you get the backdraft. Get oh. out the way, Jinx. Oh, no. I almost killed Jinx wow. there. So what happens is there's no the oxygen in the room has already been consumed by the fire. And so you open it up, and then you got to move away from the door. But I, I didn't notify Jinx, so... Oh. That was a bad teammate there, guys. Yeah. Jinx took a bunch of damage. It looks like you heal right away, though. All right, so unfortunately, I'm, I've been giving my guy orders to put this fire out, but he has not been complying. Yes, there we go. Yes, so, um, you know, actually, I think we're going to do this as well. And we'll do the whole process here, guys. Like, where is this grease fire? <laughs> so what we'll want to do... I'm looking for all yes, the hoses. I guess they're in the back, aren't they? So they already hooked us, us up here. So you'd get a yellow hose over here. And Jinx turned the electricity off. Did so you get the yellow hose here. I? I you hook didn't. it up to the water source. So the fire hydrant. That's already been done for us. We can get the attack hose here. Then we need to hook it up to the truck. Uh, that's actually the supply, so we're going to need to hook up to the other side of the truck. Oh, my extinguisher's out. So Jinx is going to be the one handling the extinguishers for us, apparently. And then we also need to get the nozzle. Can't forget the nozzle or you can't spray. So you pick up the nozzle and then you put it on the attack fire hose. And we'll bring it around the truck this way just because it makes sense. Don't forget, we've got victims in there. We've got victims. And we've left them in there for a very long time. Yeah, they're probably cooked. Probably roasted by now. Well, that one room was not in a good place. Do we know where they're at? No. So was it like a kitchen fire? Yeah. Their kitchen is roasted. Now, you're supposed to be able to tell the difference between the type of fires just by looking at them. But I'm not entirely sure. I, I didn't see it when yeah. we were doing the training. I couldn't tell the difference. Because, like, it said it was a grease fire, but he's in here spraying water all over the place. I am spraying water. This is just a... Re this here is just regular fire. Oh, okay. So, like, it's probably over here on the stove, Jinx. See how it blew when uh, I sprayed water on it okay. and it spread yeah. rapidly like that? That's the grease fire on the stove. So that's what you need to use that for. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll clear a a space open for you so you can get to the grease fire with your hydrant. Had to grab another one. Or with your extinguisher, excuse me. You're just carrying a wire around a, a fire hydrant. That's how Jinx An does oxygen it. oxygen tank. So if you want to get in there and put that grease fire out, I'll take care of the fire around you. Keep you safe, Jinx. Oh, you get you got it wet again. Oh, did I? My bad. Alright, well, it looks like you put it out. I just need to get that fire over there, and then we need to rescue these people. Where are the people? Alright, I think we got it. Jeez, yeah, this is bad in here. I'm not entirely sure where the people are. Is there an upstairs? I people, didn't see a second where? story. Oh, well, there's the electrical thing. Okay, well, that's good we already got that off. They can't be in this room, right? Because they would be long dead if they were in this room. Oh, I found them. You got them? Were they in the bedroom? Did I pass right by them? Yeah, he was under the bed. Oh, he's under the bed. And not like under the bed, but next to next it. Next to it? Yeah, I probably just walked right by him. All right, so Can we'll get this fire put out over here. Buddy? Well, Jinx rex rescues the victims. Did you get that news crew? Me coming out of the burning <laughs> building? <laughs> It's a bummer we aren't able to record Jinx's gameplay just yet. Oh, I didn't it'd be nice if we could. Extinguisher down. It'd be nice if we could flip flop between us so you guys could see like what each of us are doing. That's just too high tech for us guys. 
<laughs> at least for right now. All right, so I'm not seeing any further fire. So we haven't. Oh, okay, we haven't finished with the living room or the roof for that matter. So we'll get this fire put out here, and then we'll work on the roof. And you do need to quench the fire, or else it could start back up. Yeah, the roof's not in a good place. It's a bummer we couldn't go up there. Yeah. Because that's also something you can do. Well, it did say that there's a ladder guy. Oh, I guess that's the fire truck, huh? Mm-hmm. I thought it was a guy with ladders. <laughs> <laughs> he said the, I think they said the ladder truck, right? Yeah, this uh, roof fire is blazing. I'll take it from here, Tom. Give me the hose. You could tell him to hook another one up. I think we can do one more. We could all be on hoses. Are I you thought up? the trucks only had three connectors. I can look uh, No, I think it's two on each side. I believe it's two on each side. Are you going to hook one up? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we'll get four people over here. Though by the time Jinx is over here, yeah. I think me, Bill, and Todd, Tim? Tom. Tom? <laughs> we'll have it done. Poor Tom. I've been working with these guys for like eight years, guys. I don't <laughs> even know their name. And you know what? This is not even... He named his child after you. <laughs> this is not even unrealistic for me either, guys. This is exactly how it is in real life. I'll work with people for years and not remember their name. He's like, it's know. horrible. Because you can't ask somebody's name after you've been working with them for years. No, you got to find out from other sources. Yeah, you got to find some other way to... I I helped. But then I just forget. Jinx got over <laughs> here and started watering the grass. <laughs> all right, so I think we just put the fire out. Well, it's a beautiful garden. So did all this that is work. this is a really nice setup here. I like it. I got a little bit of covered spots, a couple of different covered spots. Get Should out have of the, brought in the chopper. Out of the sun. You think that was necessary? Yes. <laughs> all right, so there's two house fires done. We were able to get there very fast. Obviously, it wasn't very far. Mission time was not good, though. Yeah. Maybe yeah, we could have done better there. But yeah, we're already on level 8. Again, I still don't know what the levels mean, but... I don't know if they actually do anything. Just maybe they unlock... Awesome. Maybe they unlock the levels. The actual missions, I mean. Mm, could be. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. If each one of these un is unlocked at a certain level. Yeah, maybe that's how it works. So we got a couple... Or at least one new fire over here. Ladder and elevation. Okay, so that's an option. I don't know if the outside fires would be as exciting. And we could do that. We have the hot dog one, and we also have this wildfire park. I um, bet they spread quickly. You think so? We could try it. I kind of want to do the burning news one, though. I want to save the hot dogs. This seems like it's outside. And hopefully that one's kind of close. Looks like it's kind of close. You can also select your fire truck. But the only one we have available is this one we here. We have a Viper. Oh, actually, yeah, we do have one more. I guess we can get that one then. Why not? Uh, this one unlocks at level 14. This one at 17. And this one you can only use for certain things, apparently. All right. So, yeah, we'll use the, the Viper. And do we want to deploy on scene or? Drive our new truck. I guess we should drive our new truck, huh? I bet it's fast. You think so? Viper I mean, it is called Viper. Fast. It sounds fast, yeah. I don't know what the differences are between the trucks. I don't know if they have more hoses or more equipment. True. Or if they're just cosmetic differences. I would think maybe cosmetic. I'd like to get in front of this guy if we can, but he's not going to let me. Damn it, Bill. It seems like we're taking off from, like, different uh, fire stations each time, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe each, like, se section of the town has, has its own. Has on fire state? That would make sense. Yeah. The GPS does seem to adjust based on where we're at, which doesn't seem like you're saying much, but there's a lot of games we've played lately that don't seem to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just kind of like, okay. The, the police game, in fact, didn't we'll do that. figure it out. Yeah. We had some problems with that with the police simulator game. How's the handling? It's okay. Hey, I forgot you hadn't really driven yet. Is it bus driver simulator? <laughs> I mean, it's actually pretty floaty. Uh huh. Which I don't really mind, honestly, especially for like, you know, games that have like big trucks like this, big vehicles that we're driving. Mm hmm. 
it's kind of easy, honestly. It's not too bad. Which uh, for a game like that, that like this, that's what I want. I don't want the, I don't want the driving to hinder me at all. Like we can take these turns pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're not sliding all over the road. We also don't have to do like big old school bus turns as you would have to in real life, or I guess you could call them fire truck turns instead of school bus turns. But wonder if we're going inside in any of these buildings. At any point, I'm not entirely sure. I hope they do have some big buildings. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, it's just a newspaper stand. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's, it's an outside one. It's like the, the hot dog one, except for this one, it was worth more points. I thought it was like a media place. Like a broadcast. Yeah. I just wanted to see one of the outside ones and see if they spread or if they're just really easy. It's not worth a lot of experience. I assume it's just a really easy one. Yeah, like the exploding hot dogs. <laughs> Jinx really wanted to do that one. It was worth half the experience. Got some cops setting up the perimeter here. Put out your cones, coppers. Yeah, it's interesting playing this one coming right off of the, the police simulator. Very different jobs, obviously. I almost want to go ahead and skip this, guys. We get it. Yeah, we get it. It's very serious. All right, so I guess we'll uh, get set up here. Line is ready to go, boss. I might let him do it, and then I'll uh, take it from him. Just or actually, I'm going to take it from this guy sure. here. And then what we'll do is we'll send them to get a new one. So they'll set it up for us. I feel like the hose are a little dramatic. I mean, this is a much bigger fire that, than an extinguisher would be adequate for, Jinx. I got the whole backside down. Well, I'm also spraying with the hose. Nope, you just get the top. So this seems like it's going to be a very easy and quick situation here. I'm on it. Okay, boss. I'll put that fire out. Yeah, I probably didn't need all these firefighters for this. <laughs> we weren't doing anything anyway. <laughs> just sitting around. We're just grilling. So yeah, Jinx is, uh, is that it? Is that all we have to do before I go talking about something? We did it. Yeah, debrief in here in a couple seconds. So nice, easy mission, guys. So we should get all the fast bonuses because we got there quickly. We got the mission done quickly. And we also got a trophy for driving the Viper. We got a, a trophy for driving the first one as well. Oh. Uh, actually, we did not get there quick enough or do it fast enough. So it looks like the, uh, the speed is based off of the mission. Well, that hurts my feelings. I felt like we were pretty fast. Not fast enough, Jinx. Apparently so not. you don't have as much time for those type of missions. That makes sense. I wasn't sure how it worked or if it was just a flat, flat time. So let's find the next mission. I don't think we need to do the exploding hot dogs after just doing a similar mission. Uh, we got a new one over here. That's the smoke on the bungalow. Another house fire. So that one's worth seven fifty, and then we also have the ladder and elevation. I kind of want to do that one. Yeah, we'll do that one. Hopefully, it won't be too far away, but I kind of feel like that's the location that's really far. So, do you want to deploy on the scene for this one? Sure. Yeah, we'll deploy on the scene. Though we do need to change our truck again. Apparently, I wonder why they don't keep that that setting for you. So we're going to deploy on scene. We won't get that experience that we can get from getting there quickly, but we don't have to spend the time driving either. I think I forgot to turn my sirens on on the last, the last one. <laughs> we're just cruising. Because I thought it was a media building that was on fire, so I was just like, eh, we could let it burn. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> all right, so we're going to skip past all this. But yeah, Jinx's uh, stepdad was, was a firefighter. I think he retired, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. He's been uh, retired for a few years, I believe. We don't keep in contact with him anymore. Uh, we can't get the ladder here. All right, so how are we going to do this? Let's see. I'll let them get that set up. I think I'm going to get myself... I don't know this truck, guys. Everything's a yeah, different on here. like, where are the hoses? Yeah, we can went in here with equipment we're not aware of. So we can just run up the ladder. But what we're going to do... I'm actually going to go in the front door. It's funnier to break these apart. The door might have been unlocked. I didn't bother to check. 
supply line is ready to go, boss. Okay, he said supply line's ready to go. Alright, so we'll actually open this. We won't take this one out, guys. Oh, we got victims. Alright, so I'm gonna take my guy. Yes, sir. Have him pick up one of these. And then we'll get the other guy. So I don't know how many victims there are total. But we found two, Jinx. Okay. I'm trying to get the ladder out. So your dad, uh, how how high a rank he got? Didn't he get, like, battalion chief or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty high up there. He worked for the fire department for, like, 20-something years, 30 years or something like that. Ridiculous amount of time. Ooh. Ladder truck's kind of hard to see. Oh, are you on the ladder truck? Yeah. I can not get this guy on there. There you go. We just set all the bodies on t all the victims on top of each other because that's how we do it. It's not letting me use the nozzle. So Jinx is up there on the ladder truck. I feel like I'm not doing something right. It looks like you're on the nozzle to me. Is it hooked up? Does it need to be hooked up to water or anything? Probably. I mean, you think it would automatically be hooked up, but I don't really know how it works. This door's locked, so we're gonna have to break through it, guys. Well, I couldn't find the damn hoses. <laughs> Okay, nobody's in there. Yeah, just looking for more victims, guys. Call out. Oh, that's the front door. <laughs> the back door, excuse me. Yeah, we'll patrol the whole house, make sure we get all the victims out. We'll run upstairs as well. And then we'll have our guy bring the hose in. Oh yeah, super smoky up here, so we're going to go ahead and... Squat down. Yeah, somebody's calling for us here. Somebody needs assistance. I hear somebody hollering. Yeah, yeah, so do I. So we'll go ahead and check all the rooms, guys, see if we can't find this person. This is the kids' room here. Make sure no children in here. Oh, here's somebody. Alright, so we're going to tell yes, our guy to get him. So we are connected. Okay, so this is a room. We've got a locked front door. I'll need to get a tool for or was our truck not connected to the water line? No. <laughs> oh, that's why. Alright, so we're waiting for our guy to get him. And I want to get through this door here, guys. Uh, but this is one of the backdraft. You can see from the smoke right there that this is the case. This person's hand we getting all burned up. We should really rescue this person. <laughs> <laughs> Just like laying in the fire. Why is he going? Look at him. He's going through the windows. <laughs> what are you doing, he, fella? He brought a ladder where there already was one. And then he broke through the window rather than going up the stairs the way that I had already cleared. Wow. That's Bill for you. Or Bob. <laughs> or whatever his name is. Alright, so what we need to do, everybody's clear, let's open the door and then back away. And that's really cool how it spreads. Whoa! Look at how far that fireball goes. I've almost wow. got the roof out. So now I'm stuck in the house. The stairway has been blocked. Oh no! And I'm in danger. Serious danger here, guys. Is there any ladders right? Oh, okay, we can go this way then. If we can just somehow open this window. <laughs> Alright, so we should probably go through safe, the window. Alright, we're gonna give our guy some orders to come clear this up for us. I'm on it. Need to turn off the electricity. Okay, well I'm I'm like trapped right now. For some reason I can't seem to go through this window. Onto the rooftop. Oh, stand up. No. Oh. I don't think I can go onto the rooftop. Maybe because the rooftop is potentially dangerous that you fall through it. But yeah, I'm trapped as of right now. Yeah, maybe you can only go out the ladders. Like when they're up against the, the window. So Jinxie is putting the, the fire out over here for us. Understood. I'll put out that fire. Oh, well, that's not Jinx. No, I'm downstairs. I'm taking the fire from him. All right, and turned off the electricity. The give me the nozzle, man. <laughs> I said, give it here. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna put this fire out. So we're the boss, so they gotta do whatever we say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you'll have four, excuse me, three AI companions if you don't have any uh, players with you. If you're not playing a co-op. I'd be interested to see how well the online co-op works, like with matchmaking, 
And also, what's the player base look like? How many people are going to be playing once the game officially launches? Yeah. Like, in real life, you would have, like, people would have their roles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that's a job position. It's like driver, hoseman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And isn't it kind of like a promotion system? Like, you start out as yeah. hoseman and then driver. You Oof. have to take a test for each promotion that you get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jinx can tell us all about this. Since, again, her uh, dad did it. Was so involved with it. Yeah. I thought it was really interesting the way their schedule worked. Oh, yeah. They had, like, two days off and one day on. Mm -hmm. But it was the full 24 hours. It's a full 24-hour shift, you know, because they, they cook and eat at the firehouse. They sleep at the firehouse. Yeah, like your families go hang out with you. Yeah, we went up there several times. Brought the kids up there. To see the fire truck. Yeah, to go see your dad. Back when we were all still in talking terms. I'm trying to find the damn nozzles. Uh, they're in the back. With the hoses? I believe so, on the bottom. Oh. Somebody must have took them all. Because I've got the attack hoses. But... Well, that's what they were in our other fire truck. This is a different fire truck, and some of the stuff is different. Oh. Yeah, we shouldn't have done that. Yeah, we went and took a truck we were unfamiliar with to a fire. <laughs> It's like, I don't know how to work any of this stuff. I mean, it'd be nice if you could actually be at the firehouse. That'd be kind of cool. And then you could walk <laughs> around and, like, you could, you know, walk around your truck and figure out where everything's at. Become familiar with a new truck that you might have just got. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying it's got to go to the extent of... We're getting, like, burned up over here, guys. I'm not saying it's got to go to the extent where we got to do, like, maintenance on the truck or anything. Some people might actually like that level of simulation. You got to wash it. Yeah, washing it, doing maintenance on the truck. I used to love washing the hose. Or washing the truck. Love washing that hose, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, the, the walls are all falling apart. Again, the, uh, the destruction mechanics are yeah, interesting. Still spraying water on the roof. Well, you've been on that the whole time, man, haven't you? No, or, I, I mean, got I guess off for a long time. To go turn off the electricity. I can't reach the backside though. And hey, we're having a lot of trouble getting this fire out here in the master bedroom. I mean, it's like all around us. I'm trying not to get burned, guys. If you wonder why I keep like switching where I'm spraying, just trying to be able to get in here and not take any damage. Yeah, it does keep on spreading. And so you gotta be, like, smart on where you're spraying. Or else you won't make any progress. Learn that in the training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of... That was a little frustrating. A little bit, yeah. When you're kind of learning how it all works. Well, because it was like, oh, use the indicated button. Yeah, that was something I wanted to mention. But there's no if you do the indicated. training, guys, like it, and, and this is again an, before the game has launched, uh, do keep that in mind as you watch today's video that the game is not launched yet. And, you know, this is 2022, and today every game has a day one patch. And so often when we're playing prior to the official release, there are more issues than there is at release. So do keep that in mind that we're on the pre-release version here. You just needed a fire extinguisher, that's all. Jinx comes in here after all the work <laughs> is done. We've been fighting this fire for hours. She comes in here telling us how it needs to be done. I feel like that fire on the roof is just going to spread back into this bedroom. I guess we could try quenching it a bit. I don't know if it needs needs that, but I don't know if like keeping it wet will stop the fire from spreading. I think it might, but yeah, like I was trying to spray the top from the ladder truck, but, but yeah, I can't reach the back side of the house. Now, one thing we could have done is open more windows to clear out that smoke, guys. We probably should have done that so we didn't have to squat the whole time. Just uh, improve visibility a bit. Man, I messed these guys' houses up. I mean, given it was on fire, so. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the roof right we now. We did what we could. Check. There's a locked door at the rear of the house. There's yeah, it's still the roof, door. and they're saying quench the roof, so let's. Oh, I need a tool. Just spray. 
spray up there and see if we can't clear this up. I'm not seeing the fire though. And nobody else is spraying, like none of the AI companions. I'm not entirely yeah, sure. Yeah, he is. I can't take the tool, or you can't take the hose from him. Because this is my guy. He's like, I take commands from one person. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I guess I could just spray up there. I'm not sure what we need to do here to finish this up. Still saying quench the roof, so... I mean, you see that there's still clearly smoke. Yeah, there's ladders on the side of the house that I need to break the windows out on so we can get in there. On which side? Over on this side. I don't know where you're at, but... Hmm, yeah, I'm seeing all the smoke still. I'm wondering if there's not a room up there. Yeah. Okay, let's... There might be a room we didn't clear yet, guys. There could be victims in here. All right, we're gonna have to squat down because that's so so bad. Now we're gonna put the hose down actually, and maybe open up some of these windows or something. Yeah, I'm gonna bust all the windows. You're gonna bust them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll open all these up. Looks like this one's already. Oh, not yet. Oh, I could have just opened that window. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna bust it. Yeah, we'll open all these up and. Let's see if that'll help with the smoke here, guys. The more windows you open, the better it gets. Hmm. Yeah, it's still saying it's the roof is the issue. Yeah. Alright, I guess we could just spray from in here. I don't know if that's going to have any effect. Yeah, this is taking us forever. Definitely not going to get any time bonuses on this one. Maybe we got to get up on that ladder. You know, I guess I'll go ahead and do that since I haven't shown that yet. You have that all hooked up, it's not working? The truck? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe that's why we're not able to uh, complete this yet. So we're going to hop into the, the bucket. Control ladder. I guess I could do the other truck to see if that can reach it. So, see how we're getting the, the controls here that show you what to do? Yeah, there is still a fire up there. So how do you control the, the nozzle here, L3? We might want to go a bit further, actually. We'll see if we can extend this any further. Yeah, I don't think that one will go as far as this one will. Yeah, this one's not extending any further. Okay. Oh, you've got the bucket over there. Yeah. Okay, so Jinx is doing that, where she can hop in the bucket. So you guys will see her come, come over here. We can still spray over there, though. I don't know how effective it's going to be. Yeah, I just couldn't reach from there. Yeah, you're not seeing anything pop up here, guys, so. But Jinx is coming. I'm coming. Slowly. Mm -hmm. Now she's bringing the bucket over here, and she'll have a much better view than we do. I suppose what we could do is go up, and that might give us a slightly better view. Alright, I think I can get it from here. We're not getting a bonus on this one. No... So we're spraying in the general direction here, guys, but... Not even close, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I said general direction. <laughs> All right, so we got it. We just needed to get up on the ladder. That's what Let's the issue was. Is. You. I have a water fight. <laughs> Real mature Jinx. <laughs> we didn't hire Jinx for her maturity, though. No. I don't know why you would. <laughs> All right, so we can just skip all this. We put the fire out, but good God, that was slow. They lost everything. We got a trophy for how slow we are. Slow <laughs> driving time. Oh, because we didn't drive. Good. We didn't drive, that's right. Mission time was medium. It's fine. Use 1,000 liters of water. <laughs> we used so much water. I think that's just total, though, because we used 427 in this one. Yeah, but I uh, think we used it all. Quench fire with the Viper nozzle. Okay, so we're getting lots of trophies. This game just be, it's just throwing trophies at us. And so if you're a trophy hunter, it's a good game for that. I find that the simulator games often are good for, for the trophies. But yeah, you lose a lot of that experience by not driving. So that's pretty clear. So let's find another 
Building fire. We got a fast food one. That's going to be a grease fire right there. Yeah. That could be fun doing something, yeah. something different here. We got to save the burgers. Yeah, we'll do this one. And I feel like we're going to have to drive to this one because it's not worth much experience. So if we don't drive, we're not really going to get any experience for this. So we'll go ahead and drive to it. Uh, though, again, they keep taking my truck. Oh, it looks like you can't use the Viper for this one. Okay, so certain missions you can use certain Well, good, certain trucks. I don't know where anything's at on that thing anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they had us do the training on the other truck. That's where they taught you, like, where everything was at. But yeah, it would be nice if you, you had the fire station. I, I hope they add something like that. That you can walk around in. And all that kind of good stuff. Talk to your dudes. Yeah. Have a conversation with Bill. I mean, it's not it have to go that far, but dispatch to Unit One. Good luck. It would be interesting. I've eaten a lot of good food at our station. <laughs> now, I will admit that I do like that this simulator focuses on, you know, what it is. It's a firefighter simulator. It's focusing on that aspect. It's all about fighting the fires. That's what we've been doing since we've been playing it. And so there hasn't been what you find in a lot of these simulator games. Oh, so much they, other stuff. Yeah, where they're like, oh, there's a story to be told. <laughs> well, not even just the story, but like, we're going to do all this other stuff. Pick up trash over here or something. <laughs> you know, stuff that doesn't have anything to do with the simulator. And, and you know, I've noticed that with, uh, it just seems that these simulators that come from this publisher seems to be like that. Because the police simulator game was the same way. It wasn't any BS. It was like, you're done the police simulator just the Aspect stuff you want to do in the game. Yeah. You could certainly make complaints. Officer, yeah, you could certainly fighting. make complaints about the game. Like with the police simulator, they were lacking content overall. Did feel like they needed a bit more. There were some weird bugs. And it was kind of buggy, yeah. It was buggy. Had all kinds of uh, graphical issues. Something we haven't really seen in this one much. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> some weird animations. But, uh, yeah, I haven't really seen any bugs or graphical issues just yet. Or nothing serious. Mm-mm. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, maybe not when you're considering it's a PS5 game. Which no. way do you have to go? Well, yeah, it could be better, but... But, yeah, for the PS4, this is great. the clouds look nice. <laughs> yeah. The color scheme is nice, I suppose. They don't really bother with the people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just dummies that you're rescuing. That's <laughs> a turn here. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, wanted to take be a firefighter those, for a long time. Those cur those uh, turns pretty tight. What were you saying you wanted to be a firefighter? Uh, I was saying that I wanted to be a firefighter. But you decided against it. Yeah. She just joined the army instead. Yeah. Where she met me, so worked down for the best. Yeah. I actually thought Praetorian was a firefighter. She did, because <laughs> in the, the army, you know, you can't have much facial hair. So, you know, whenever I'm not, you know, in the army or when I was working in corrections or even some of the private security I did, uh, you know, I had to keep the mustache because I can't have my full beard. Although back then I used to keep a goatee if I wasn't in uniform. But now I keep the big old beard that you guys have seen in videos. But yeah, you had a mustache and a morbid sense of humor, so naturally. Yeah. And the you know firefighters trained at the base that we were at. Yeah, we were training. It was uh, mostly for military intel, which is what I was uh, changing my MOS into. I was reclassing to military intel from artillery. I used to be an artillery man. And Jinx was doing her first training in military intel, and so that's where we met. But they also trained the firefighters there, so it made sense that Jinx would expect that I was a firefighter. I I was wrong. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I think she might not have been into me initially. Yeah, she... probably not. <laughs> but yeah, I made a joke. I won't tell the joke here because I feel like people would judge me. Somebody would. <laughs> yeah, people There's would. There's a lot of judgment in the classroom. There was. I was like, I love this guy. I look back on it and I'm like, wow, that was an entirely inappropriate joke. Yeah. Especially for that for like timing. An intro to like everyone. Yeah. <laughs> That's everything was a joke for me, guys. I took nothing serious back then. I had a rough life, and so it was the only way I was able to get through all of it. Is just everything was a joke. But that was when I connected to you, so... Yeah. I'm a much more serious person 
for better or worse today. Um, so <laughs> it's like the fire is in the trash can. The attack line is ready to go. All right, so he's gonna start putting this out. Oh, we found the survivor. I mean, the fire's only in the back, right? I guess. Wait, that's burning oil. Don't use water. Don't use water, okay. buddy. Okay. Oh, he's using water. <laughs> How do we stop him? Put it down, guy. <laughs> Don't use water. I've got a fire extinguisher. I'm coming. All right, they're all coming with water, so. <laughs> oh my God, guys, stop! Yeah, I wonder if there's Gosh. a a way to tell them to not use water because I kind of gave them the command to do that. Is there a way to like tell them? Oh my God, he's hmm. gonna get us killed! Stop, guy. Yes, he got nice and close to it. To look at him, what is he doing? Uh, like, I don't know what he's doing. He's he's got a death wish. <laughs> he just ran up into the fire. He's just hanging out there, okay. making it worse. You Damn said that there was a victim bow. somewhere? I don't know. That's what somebody said. Now, they don't really seem to do anything without your assistance, Command. without you telling them to do it, without your orders. Fire. Yeah, so how do we tell them to get that? I've got it. I know, but how do we give them the order to do it? Um. Maybe. See. Okay. Okay, it's right here. I'm on it. Okay, so yeah, we'll tell them both to, to get that so they can yes, help Commander. us. Yes, Commander. And I don't think he's been given this order yet. Yes, sir. There we go. So they'll both go over there and get that. So this is holding L1. The other commands are with the R1. Like, I told him to go get a fire extinguisher, and he just isn't. <laughs> I think that they went to go get it, didn't they? I'm with you, boss. I feel like way. it. I think you keep holding, if you keep holding the directional pad down, mm -hmm. then that'll order them to follow you. And I believe that's what you just ordered him to do. So when you ordered him to follow you, he dropped the fire extinguisher. No, I threw it at him. Oh. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> chucked that at him? Well, anyways, when you're holding it, I know he, that's what he, he was doing because he was saying, I'll follow you, so. No, he just, he's creepy. Are we done? Oh, search and rescue. Looks like we need to find. <laughs> oh, there, there's somebody here. Somewhere. My bad. I don't know where though. Is there a body? Oh, we have I to go him. in the I place. Just walked oh, on him. <laughs> okay, he's right there. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, so Jinx is doing the fireman carry and rescuing this person. I feel like he's the one who started I the fire. I stepped all over that guy. <laughs> I'm like, where is he? See, now this is pretty Trampling. bad over here. This truck out, just completely totaled. Yeah, you're going to jail as soon as you get out of the hospital. But holding L1, you can tell them to equip certain tools. And unfortunately, I can't show you guys any further. My bad. But those are the commands there. So we'll have our debrief in here. Let's just go and skip this, guys. See how we did? Driving time, that was medium. Mission time, also medium. That's because we didn't save that person quick enough. But yeah, we got some experience here, guys. So we're now at level 11. All right, uh, so unfortunately, that is going to have to be the end of this first episode. I'm liking this so far. It works pretty well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think... Uh, I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I think if they can diversify the missions a bit, which, you know, we haven't played enough to see, but if there's a bit of diversity to the missions, you know, different buildings, different situations, like the, the roof falling in, that kind of stuff, if they add more of that stuff in... You know, there's a lot of different missions that you see all these different locks here. We have there's a lot of diversity in these missions, and this could be really fun. Yeah. And the multiplayer adds another yeah. aspect of it that's really nice. Playing with friends is always fun, or any game is funner with friends, I typically. Like to play. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, we'll have to end today's episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next episode, check out the front page of our channel. We've got 3,000-something videos all sorted by genre, and we do play a lot of these simulator games. Now, we, we mentioned the police simulator, but we played hunting simulators. Uh, we've got that, that house flipper game, which is kind of a simulator, uh, farming simulators, Medieval Dynasty series that we've had ongoing here. 
uh, for a couple months now, just doing little videos, one video per week or whatever, as Jinx has been building up that uh, village of hers. Bus driver simulator. Car, car mechanic, mechanic simulator. simulator. Yeah. There's been a lot, guys. So if you like this simulator genre, you'll definitely be able to find something to watch. If you like other genres, again, we do play quite a few different types of games. Uh, so the should have uh, episode, and we should have an episode on Sunday, episode two for this series, but we'll not have an episode on Monday. So the series would return on Tuesday after these first two videos here. All our links are in the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. you also find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, you found links to all of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff, if you'd like to follow us on those. So I do hope to see you guys on that episode two on Sunday, and thanks for watching.